Okay, so I wanted to go over with you guys how to um, read your codes on your computer, at least on this one. Uh, it's, I'm assuming that it's different for every it, year and model. I mean, that's my uh, the only thing I can think of. Um, uh, this this one's crazy, crazy simple once you learn how to do it. Uh, I had to do a bit of research on it. I think the last time I did it was when I first got this sucker running again. But, um, uh, it's, uh, it's got a toggle switch in the back, uh, and this little window here, and then another window over here where you can see, uh, your read your codes. It's got a red and a green light. Um, that, that turn on once you're in in that um, diagnostic mode, I guess is what they call it. Um, so it's got an on off on off toggle switch, and you want it when you're doing this. You want it in the off position, or I'm sorry, hopefully that makes sense because I don't talk loud. Uh, you want it in the off position, uh, the toggle switch. Um, uh, once you insert your key, again, this is a 86.5, so might be different for for your year and model uh, so you want to get your ignition in there ignition key uh, just turn your accessories uh, on you don't want to turn your truck on you know you'll see your accessories turn on and you'll see the lights stay solid about that and now we want to flip that switch to the on position it'll be tough to And as you can see, she's in the on position, and the lights are now off. So, what you want to do is tap your clutch a few times on your gas. Doesn't matter which order, you can do either one. And uh, you're, you want to go into your, I don't know if you have to go into every single gear or just one is enough, but just for safety's sake or conserving time. I run through all of them just to be on the safe side. And as you can see, she's now reading codes. So, start writing these down. Starting after this one. So that's twenty three. Two. Twenty three again. So it seems like the only code we're getting is 23. So I'll look that up real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, so after looking up what code 23 is, I know how to go online and look it up. Um, it's the uh, hard idle switch. Uh, I believe it's what it's called. Uh, and, and that goes to the um, the stock throttle body that used to be, you know, on the intake. Uh, but since we have the Weber Carb, and again, as you guys know, Weber Carb doesn't use any of those sensors, um, doesn't need them. Um, uh, the, the fact that the computer's throwing that code, is it's not an issue, because it's, it's not affecting 
how the engine runs. Um, so it's not a big deal that it's throwing that. So, so yeah, that's it's, it's all good. And if you guys remember the last time I ran this, I think she was throwing like three, at least three codes, and all of them had to do with the the sensors that went through to the um, to the throttle body. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that, that's fairly, you know, at least on, on this model, it's like like I said, it's, it's really really simple. So just to recap, um, to do this, uh, switch your um, the toggle switch to the off off position. Um, come back and uh, turn your accessories on. Remember, don't turn your engine on, just your accessories. Uh, and you'll see both the red and the green light turn solid. They won't be blinking. They'll just, you know, be running solid the entire time. Uh, and, uh, and then you come back to your computer, turn it to the on position, and you'll see the lights turn off. Then we come back, um, uh, Turn your accessories on. Remember, don't turn your engine on, just your accessories. Um, and again, this doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter which uh, sequence you go by. You can mismatch. It doesn't matter. Um, pump your clutch a few times. Uh, your gas pedal. Uh, either, I don't know if, you, if, it, if it's enough that you just could do one gear or go through all of them. You know, just for... Uh, the sake of time, you know, go. I, I went through all of them just to, you know, save time. Um, and right after that, you'll be able to read your codes. And uh, that that should be it. And that, that's fairly fairly easy, quick way to read any codes you you may or may not have on your computer. And uh, again, I, I removed the the seat just to make it easier because the uh, it was very, very difficult to, uh, um, very little space with that uh, bucket seat, because, again, these seats aren't native to this truck, but, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's an easy thing to do. Hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you.